You can have your own cafe in your bag. Let's talk about the Wakako Pico Press. We're also gonna go over the scale and also the grinder itself. Currently retailing for $129.90. The scale is about $50 and the grinder itself is $119.90. All links are in the description below and we're gonna go over the specifications for the Wakako Pico Presso. So the Pico Presso dimensions are 2.8 inches by 3.07 by 4.17 inches. The weight's about 450 grams, 12.35 ounces. Uh, the water capacity for something like this is 80 millimeters. The basket size is 52. Coffee ground capacity is 18 grams and the pressure for this uh, device is 18 bars. Feels really good in your hand. The materials that are made in this particular uh, device is aluminum, stainless steel, uh, silicone, and uh, different types of plastic. And the warranty on this bad boy is two years. What's included in the package with the Pico Presso is the Pico Presso itself, a carrying case, a tamper, double filter basket, a scoop, brush, dispiration tool, funnel, and instruction and warranty book. The scale itself is uh, rechargeable, which is really nice. Coffee grounds go right in here. Uh, then you're going to And then you fill water in this piece right here. And then what you do is you close it like so, twist and pump. Some of the pros for this uh, device is that it makes an amazing espresso, single or double shot. And if you're a coffee snob like me, it, it makes a huge difference being able to get an espresso out camping or on the trail or overlanding. It's extremely compact and it's about the size of a can of soda. It weighs about a can of soda, maybe a little bit more, which allows you to be able to pack this inside your backpack when you're going on a trail hiking. You know, if you're gonna do, let's say some type of summit or just a long trail that's, you know, 10 plus miles, it's great to have something like this because you're always cognizant about your weight and being able to make coffee, especially an espresso, with something so small is game changing because I normally bring an AeroPress with me, but this is something that I would prefer. It's a little bit heavier, but it is smaller. Bringing something like this and being able to have an espresso in the morning instead of your regular coffee would make life a lot better, especially if you have blisses on your feet or you're just hurting the next day. A little bit of luxury goes a long way. Whenever I am doing a trail, I try to keep my pack at 25 pounds. That's usually not the case. It's more roughly 30. This would be worth the extra weight. Another pro is the quality build is really good. The grinder itself is fantastic. Uh, the grinder's a bit heavier, so I probably wouldn't bring this. If I was doing a trail, uh, I would use the grinder to grind the grounds prior to going out and put them in like a Ziploc bag. That's what I usually do. If I'm camping in my car or overlanding, uh, then the extra weight's not an issue and bringing something like this would be totally fine. One of the biggest cons with the Pico Presso is that it takes a long time to actually push out the espresso itself. So it's great if you're making an espresso for just yourself, but if you're making it for three or four people, it, it, it just takes too long. It took me about 12 minutes from start to finish to get one espresso shot for myself. So if you're having to make three or four of these, it could take almost up to an hour, which is kind of ridiculous for this. If it's just one person, 12 minutes is totally fine. You heat the water, pour it in here, and, and it's really the pumping that, that takes a, a while to do. And it could just be that I'm not pumping hard enough, but um, it just took me about 12 minutes all in. 
The other con is that the instructions are very difficult to go through and read. I had a hard time figuring this out when I first got in opening up how to use the particular device and found myself going onto YouTube and watching somebody actually break it down on the Wakako website, which is great that they actually have that tutorial. And once I viewed the video, I was able to go through this very quickly and able to actually use it itself. So now I can do it without even thinking. And that's the main thing. It's so not as easy as an AeroPress where you just put the grounds in, and pour the water and push it down, uh, but it gives you a way better cup of coffee. This also opens up you being able to heat milk if you were to bring milk. Now, if you're hiking, you'd probably have powdered milk that you can add the water to, or you can just make an Americano with it as well. You can have your own cafe in your bag. So should you get the Wakako Pico Press. That's the biggest question everybody wants to know. For my conclusion, if it's something you are going to put in your pack for hiking um, or hiking into a trail to go camping with, and it's going to be something for yourself, yes, it is totally worth bringing this over the AeroPress. That is if you are a coffee snob. Now, if you're happy with the AeroPress, go for it. Uh, but this will be something I replace in my trail pack. If I'm overlanding and using a vehicle and weight is not a factor and the size capacity, I will probably not bring this if I'm going with my family. This would be something for just myself. If I'm going with my family and there's multiple people that want to drink coffee, I'm probably going to use something else. Let me know what you use to make coffee when you go either hiking, camping, overlanding. I'd love to hear it. If you learned anything and you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you smash that like button and subscribe to our video. Till next time.